Hi there, and welcome back to Artisan Upholstery Studio. It's me, Amy, and today I'm here to answer your upholstery questions. I've gotten lots of questions and comments on my other videos, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, today I'm going to answer a question um, that I think is relevant for any upholstery project that anyone has. So the question was, how do you measure to get the right amount of fabric? So that's a very good question because fabric can be very expensive so you don't want to buy too much but you certainly don't want to buy too little. So today I'm going to show you how to measure and uh, draw out a diagram so that you can figure out how to get exactly the right amount of uh, fabric for your project. So today I'm working on this wing chair. It's got lots of pieces so it'll give us good practice to figure out how to get our yardage right. When you're starting out, it's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with all of the different pieces that um, are on a chair. So um, a great idea is to mark it. You've got your Sharpie marker, and this is called the inside back. These are called the inside arm. So I'm marking IA, IB. This would be the inside wing. So I'm marking it IW and I. W. This is also an inside arm and this is a seat edge. So seat edge. The outside back is gone because this chair has been stripped so I don't get to draw that one out but it's OB and the outside arms are OA. Okay so next you are going to want to have a piece of paper and a pen. Uh, what I like to do is draw out what I'm going to need to measure beforehand because it's always going to be the same and it's always going to be in pretty much the same order from larger pieces to smaller pieces. So I always label IB, OB, IA, OA, IW, OW, and then I go with um, the cushion and the seat edge. And the deck, which is this portion of the chair, which can be in the fabric that you're using for the body of the chair, or it can be in something different. That's up to you. If you want to save on the fabric, you can use a different fabric that costs less, or you can uh, seam it in the middle and use an off cut from the side or something like that. So I'm going to put it in here just because we should measure it. So this is what I have listed. Next you are going to need a tape measure. Um, a loose tape measure is a lot easier to use than a metal tape measure for this purpose. Okay, so starting with the inside back, you want to push it in a few inches because this fabric doesn't stop here, it actually wraps around there. So give yourself a good three inches to wrap around and that's going to be 27 and then again from the bottom all the way wrapping around to the back side is 41 and I'm doing that in inches even though I'm in Canada I just learned in inches so that's what I'm comfortable with you can measure with whatever measurements you're comfortable with okay so I have my chair turned around so that we can measure the outside back the side to side measurement, which is what I always do first, I go side to side and then up and down and then that way when I'm looking at my list of measurements, I know that they're all going to be the same direction, which is important when you're cutting fabric that the, all the pieces be cut in the right direction. So my side to side measurement, I want to overlap the edge and overlap the edge by about an inch and a half is going to be 25 side to side by an inch and a half bigger at the bottom and an inch and a half bigger at the top gives me 36. Okay, next I'm going to do the inside arm. So side to side is overlapping here at the front and then pushing it through to the back is 22 inches and then wrap, or pushing it through the bottom and wrapping it around that one is, I'm going to say 24 inches because we're going to add more padding to that. We want it to be a little puffier. So 22 
by 24. And you only have to measure one arm because we're going to assume that they're both the same or in any case, they're going to be both the same when we do it properly the next time. Inside wings. Wrapping around 16 by 25. So always make sure that you're choosing the higher part of your chair, the largest part of your chair for the measurements. So the outside arm will wrap around to here, side to side. I'm going to the top of the frame because it's wider up here. So 22 by 15. The outside wing. 15 by 22. The cushion. We always have to measure the widest part. So this one has T, T, it's a T cushion, so it's got T's on it. So we're going to make it bigger than the cushion. So I'm going to say 29 by 22. So you're measuring it an inch bigger than what is there on both sides. So for a total of two inches bigger than the actual cushion. So. 22. The seat edge wraps all the way around. To give me a measurement of 41. So that I've measured all the way to here. It's all one piece. And then we're going to measure from this stitch here all the way along to the bottom and giving yourself extra. So 12. The deck is here, so wrap it down and wrap it down. So that's 26 by 20. So you'll notice when you're stripping your chair that there's a piece of scrap, scrap fabric sewn onto the bottom edge of your inside arm and your inside back. So the purpose of that fabric is to be able to shove it through that bottom rail and tack it down on this side of the chair. So you don't have to cut your fabric to be able to pull it through and staple down because um, you're always going to want to do this to save on fabric yardage. So you don't want to forget to measure the height of the seat border. This one is three inches after it's been sewn so I want to cut this piece four inches, which uh, gives me a half an inch extra for the seam allowance. So I've got all my measurements listed here and I've drawn out an imaginary roll of fabric. Standard width for upholstery fabric is 54 inches. So we can take our first measurement at 27, which is half of 54, and draw that out. Kind of like that. It just to give you an idea, it doesn't have to be perfect. So 27 by 41 long, and I'm going to put that as the inside back. So the next measurement, I'll cross that off. Next measurement, 25 by 36, will fit in right beside it nicely. And it'll give us a little extra down the roll, outside back, check it off. The inside arm, 22 by 24. So that's going to be a little bit less. 22, and we'll fit in another one here, 22, so inside arm, inside arm. Always make sure that you're doing two of the things that there's two of. So 22, 24, 24. Next we have outside arms, 22, 22, outside arm, outside arm by 15. So check those off. Now here on the side I have 6 inches left over and 10 inches left over. That's not really wide enough for any big things but it is um, big enough for the front facings that go on the front of the arms. Uh, okay so the inside wings. We're going to be able to get three pieces of the inside wing and outside wing because they're only 16 wide. So 16 by 25. 16 
16, and then another one here, which will be 15. 15, so inside wing, inside wing, outside wing. And that's 25 at the widest. Okay, so let's cross that off. We still need one outside wing, but we'll get that later. So the cushion, 29, 29 this way by 22. Always remember that there are two cushion panels. So we need it this way. 22 cushion. So over here, there's lots of room, so we can get that other outside wing in here. Outside wing. Um, so we can cross that off, but we still haven't done our border for the cushion, but we'll do that last. So the seat edge, 41 by 12. So this is 41. There's a little bit there by 12. Cross it off. And the deck can probably come out of here. Yeah, so here is enough for the deck. It's an inch short side to side, but that will be fine. All right, so the border for the cushions is sort of done in a very specific way because in order to get it wrapped around the front tees, let me just remind you of how that cushion is going to be. So it's got these little things here. So the one whole width of your fabric, that is 54 inches, is going to be your seat cushion border. All right, so the whole 54 inches will wrap about from here all the way around, probably to about there. So then you need a section that will fit here and here, and then you'll have a whole extra piece back here for your zipper panel. There's always a zipper at the back of these cushions, and that is not so that you can take it off and throw it in the washing machine. It's simply so that the upholsterer can put the foam inside. Okay, so we've got our first border, then we're gonna put our, and we said that that was four inches. Then we've got our zipper, which I always do as a little bit less, so I'm gonna go three inches, and then that's gonna be two panels, so zip and zip. This is this is how I do it always. So whether it's a square cushion or a T cushion, it uh, doesn't matter, this is how I always do it. So now you're going to need piping for the top edge, the top edge and the bottom edge of the cushion. Now one piece of piping is only going to come from here to here, so we're going to need a second piece that wraps around like this. Piping is always cut at an inch and a half. So what I do is I just cut three inches like that because it's easy for me to cut three inches and then just cut it in half to make that piping. And we're going to need one for the other side as well. So that's another three inches. So this is piping. All right, so now we have all of our pieces accounted for. I'm going to do the math and figure this out. So 172 is our final um, final tally of all of these measurements down this way. And if I divide that by 36, it gives me 4.7 yards that we'll need for this chair. Now, if you have any kind of matching to do whatsoever, this one is going to be done in a subtle stripe. So you always want to give yourself a little bit extra. Never ever bump it down, never get exactly 4.7. I would probably bump this up to five, maybe even five and a half or six, just because you always wanna have a little bit extra to play around with in case you make a mistake. So there you go. That is how I measure and lay out my fabric to figure out how many yards I'm going to need to order uh, so I don't get too much or too little. I hope that it helped you and I hope that it made sense for you. And, um, and if you have any other questions that you feel might be relevant to a large amount of people about upholstery, please feel free to ask on this video or any other and I'll get it. 
and um, and hopefully I'll be able to answer that one as well. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.